It's cruise day! You heard them, it's cruise day, but first we're heading to breakfast here at the hotel. A little bit of conversation, a little bit of relaxation. Across the sea, city to city, come by with me. Tell me when you're ready, ready to leave with my cruising family. Across the skies and sea, come and by with me. Yeah, what you waiting for? Just step out that door and explore. Are you ready to part with me and this cruising family? My cruising family. As always, we recommend a good breakfast before boarding your cruise ship because cruise embarkation day can be a lot. Feel free to pause this video to look at the menu and comment below what you would have for breakfast. This looks so good! This looks so good, so good! Chicken sausages, bacon. Here's my pancake. That's your pancake and you were just picking the blueberries off, huh? I don't like my berries. Oh. Or, or we like the blue Well, I mean, they're not that bad, but like... Oh, like, ooh, this ooh, looks look so good. What is that? It's, it's an un, un margarita. Or an un Rita. Yep. What's in it? Do you remember? Um... There's lime, there's also Advent or whatever it's called. I, I don't, I don't, I don't. There's I, lime, strawberry, and orange something. Some essence of orange juice, right? Muddle orange, I think. A muddle orange, right. Okay, taste it. Enjoy. After breakfast and grabbing a carry-on from our room, we're heading out, but not to the ship just yet. We're here in Seattle and heading to a good old American staple, Target. <laughs> We love that this is a walkable neighborhood. It's interesting, these streets around here are on an incline, basically a hill. A great thing about staying at Hotel 1000, which is a Hilton brand hotel, by the way, is it's close to a whole lot of stuff, including Target, which is where we're heading right now, to get some sodas because Celebrity does allow you to bring sodas on board. Now, make sure the sodas are a 12 pack, nothing bigger than that, and not bottles, so it has to be canned sodas. But check your cruise line, even if it is celebrity before you're sailing because things do change. Look y'all, I gotta grab the moment when I can. My son just asked me to hold him because why? It's cold. <laughs> no, it's it is really cold though. This is why we have so many bags for this one week trip because I had to pack for weather like yesterday which was warm and weather like right now which is cold and to be honest it might get warm again by the afternoon like it did yesterday. We ordered online for in-store pickup here at Target, so this should be really quick. Our sodas are in tow and our carry-on. And we're heading back to the hotel. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Back to our room to shower and get dressed for our cruise. We're rocking our Melanin at C 3.0 Group Cruise t-shirt and we're on our way to the cruise port. Ooh, and a quick glimpse of the Space Needle from the car. Aw, oh, thank you! Why did our driver roll the window down, you ask? While driving into the Seattle cruise port, your ship is literally sitting right there next to the roadway as you drive in. So he saw me setting to take video of the ship and made it easier for me by rolling the window down. Shout out to our Lyft driver for being so considerate. On celebrity, let's see what the edge is giving. Where are we going, AJ? We're going on celebrity edge to Alaska. That's right. Are you excited? Yes. Celebrity edge to Alaska. Here we go. Say what you just said again, AJ. Wow. 
I was really fast. What do you mean, getting on the ship? Yeah. Yeah. Officially on the ship! Woohoo! Yeah, we're on the ship. We're on, the ship. Not it <laughs> we're on it. Stepping on board, we immediately got a wristband for LJ and then went to our muster station. Then we came straight to the mast grill to eat. This is the first food we've seen on board. And look at that. Our first meal here on the Celebrity Edge in Seattle. We're docked next to Royal Caribbean's Ovation of the Seas. And North Star is on its way up. I have yet to try North Star. I remember wanting to do it on Anthem of the Seas when it first started sailing and Quantum of the Seas. Royal Caribbean's Quantum Class North Star gives guests who venture onto it 360 degree views high above their ship. Well, I'm not on North Star right now. We are on the Celebrity Edge and I'm about to tear this burger up. <laughs> After eating, it's time to head to our room. A room tour will be provided in a separate video. That said, I'm wasting no time. Gots to clean this room up. I'm using gloves, disinfectant wipes, and Lysol spray to make sure we can be comfortable touching all surfaces in our room. After all, this will be home for seven days. No, the room wasn't messy to the eye, but this is just our thing to make sure our room is a safe, clean space during our cruise. Comment below if you also clean, wipe down, or disinfect your staterooms. It's now time to head to the Melanin at Sea Welcome Mixer in Eden. This is the first official group event on board. Here we meet and reunite with our Melanin at Sea family. Some we've met before, others we've only communicated with online. This is always so exciting. The family, the family, the family, our family. This right here is just so special. Definite family reunion vibes. And what I love is it's not just the adults connecting and reconnecting, our children are also, which is so great to watch. This is also where we get our welcome gifts from Rich and Jazz, founders of Melanin at Sea. Our welcome gifts for this cruise are beanies, packable ponchos, lanyards, and a large canvas tote. All excellent quality. Thank you, Melanin at Sea. And just like that, it's time to sail away. Listen, my LJ is ready for this sail away party. is pretty lit for what I'd heard about celebrity cruises. Everybody's having a good time. If you go all the way aft on the celebrity edge during sail away out of Seattle, you'll have a great view of the Space Needle and the Seattle skyline. If I knew this ahead of time, I would have started sail away here, but you live and you learn. And now I can share this tip with you. We've sailed away quite a bit, but you can still see it. Whew, back to the room to unpack for four. After all that unpacking, it's the buffet Ocean View Cafe for dinner tonight. Chicken, steak, duck, more chicken, rice, and potatoes. I have a uh, spinach salad, uh, sweet potatoes, roasted potatoes, some chicken and beef fajita meat with rice, and bread. We do usually prefer the main dining room, but we came to the buffet for our first night on Celebrity Edge. Ah, this is our room after dinner. There's the trundle for the boys and the king for the grown-ups. There are the chocolates on the pillows. Chocolates? I'm tired and I've had to 
you all know I'm always a packer. But when we get on the ship and my mom is with me, at least she unpacks the boys' stuff because they're usually staying with her. I had to unpack for all of us as well. And so my body hurts. These suitcases are big. They heavy. Lord, um, I need Advil. Anyway, so we are here in the room and I want to give a summary of day one. As usual, the vibe is amazing with the Melanet Sea Group Cruise. This is only our second one, but similar to the first one, which was 1.5, just about exactly a year ago on the Carnival Venezia, we are now on the Celebrity Edge for Melanet Sea 3.0, and it's been a great vibe, okay? It's, it's like family that you haven't seen in a long time. We've seen, of course, a rich and jazzy life, Addie and Terry, your favorite couple. We've seen Carlene from See It With C, Phil D and PJ from Phil and D's Travel Spree. We have seen um, Leanne Travels. We've seen Fats and Tree. And not just seen, we got to mix and mingle and love on these folks at the mixer where we collect our gift bags. I met Damien and Quanda for the first time in the flesh. They've been like family through YouTube and Facebook and Instagram all this time. And it's been wonderful to meet them in the flesh. Um, and we met um, Fane and Laura from Travel Spree for the first time. And yeah, just, it's been a good time. If I forgot anybody's name, any of the creators, my apologies. Oh, I met Regina Davis, who Regina has been so awesome. Like, just a source of information. When I was going to El Salvador, she was like, girl, if you need any help with your Spanish or with anything to do in El Salvador, let me know. Um, you know, just one of those good looking out people. And so it's been great to, um, you know, meet a lot of our favorite creators and to not just meet, because some of them we met a year ago on um, 1.5, but to get time to spend with them again. Honestly, I didn't have a whole lot of time to feature people today because I told you it's been a hectic embarkation day, but the great thing is we have seven days aboard this beautiful ship. It is a beautiful ship, um, the Celebrity Edge, and hopefully I'll get the chance to, if it's not even a full ship tour, take you around. Y'all, I don't know, this is like uncharted territory with the four of us and my mom not here because the boys are bigger now. We're in one ocean view room. They take up more space <laughs> and it's tight in here. So that's one thing I was telling Alan, maybe we should have booked two interior rooms. I mean, I love to see the ocean. And the fact that I'm not in a balcony is already a compromise that we're in an ocean view to make this trip happen. But um, two interior rooms would have given us more room. <laughs> um, what else, what else, what else? So food, big thing for us, you know, I'm a foodie. The food's been okay so far. When we got here, we went directly to the Mast Grill, got some hamburgers and hot dogs because it was the first place we saw, to be honest. We didn't know where the buffet was at the time. We had our bags still because the rooms weren't yet ready. So we went to the Mast Grill, got hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, that kind of stuff. So, man, you know, that was hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries. No complaints about that. Um, however, there is an entire buffet that we missed for lunch, so I can't speak to the buffet lunch, which is our typical embarkation day thing, if not a sit-down lunch at a sit-down restaurant. And dinner, we have anytime dining, and we didn't know how it works here because when Alan went in the app to look, there were no times available. But we saw our friends Phil and Dee when they were coming through the um, buffet where we ended up having dinner, and they said that they actually just showed up even though it didn't have any times on the app, and they made room for them. And Sydney Stefan also said she heard we can just show up. So we will be trying that further on in the cruise. As much as we will try to just show up for any time dining, we have something special planned for day two. So hopefully you will stick around for that and see what we have planned and come enjoy it with us. Hopefully we enjoy it. <laughs> um, the buffet was not my favorite place for dinner, but usually the buffet is not our go-to for dinner. So it's not a surprise that it wasn't my favorite. Um, the selection I just didn't think was that great, but we also went on the tail end when I think things were already picked at and stuff, which for me, just buffets in general are not my favorite, but I do like a cruise ship buffet for breakfast and lunch usually, um, and a sit down dinner. Um, so there's that. Hopefully we'll try this buffet for breakfast and lunch. It's seven days on here, so we've only had one day and it wasn't even a full day, right? It's embarkation day, so not gonna knock the buffet. The staff there though, super, super friendly and very helpful. The stateroom, it is tight, but it's a beautiful stateroom. It smells so good walking in here. It smells kind of like a spa. And the boys do take up more room, but we're making it work. And yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We do love our stateroom. It's nice decor, good space. The shower next to Disney, which I think has spacious showers in general on all the ships that we've been on, which is all the ships, <laughs> all five. Compared to other cruise ships, Disney has spacious showers. 
Next to that, there was the Carnival Venezia Ocean View, Deluxe Ocean View for Families that we were on a year ago. And that one was spacious because there was a typical cruise ship bathroom and then there was a bathroom with a tub. So the one with the tub there was spacious. Next to that, this Celebrity Edge regular standard room, not like special for families, nothing like that. Just a regular average room has a spacious shower. Like compared to other cruise ships. Now, if this is your first cruise, you're still going to say it's a tiny shower. But it's a really spacious shower for a cruise ship. And so we appreciate that too. Spacious um, bathroom. Nice decor in the room. I would say it's a spacious room. Most rooms on cruise ships are not meant to have four people comfortably, right? Like, it's four people, we make it work. But this is a comfortable, like, two to three person room. And we're making our four work. So we'll let you know towards the tail end of the cruise how it fared for a whole week together in um, a regular standard ocean view on the celebrity edge. But other than that, I don't know what else to share from today besides we're tired. And the ship is beautiful and we're gonna make it work. And the vibe is great from Mel Nanetti Group Cruise, our second Mel Nanetti Group Cruise. This is 3.0. And stay tuned. Thank you for watching and have a great day. What you waited for? Just step out that door.